Hi, my name is Kevin McConnell, and I'm with HP Vertica, and I'm responsible for analytic solutions and systems integration alliances. And with me, I have Dorman. Hi, I'm Dorman Bazell with Capgemini, and I run the North American Enterprise Intelligence and Analytics practice. Excellent. Well, Dorman, in your experiences, what are you seeing now with your customers in big data? Yeah, so with big data, we customers are still asking the question, what does this big data mean? But more specifically, what does it mean to me within my organization? Right? Unless they start contextualizing it, it just it's just an amorphous uh, mass of data. So they're they're asking those questions and they're looking for answers uh, from from across multiple disciplines and within within their organizations. Then they start asking questions around well. How do I then make business value out of this data? How do I make it real within my organization? What kind of analytics do I need to produce? Um, where specifically can I identify opportunities for leveraging big data? Am I just using big data in a silo apart from my data warehouse? Am I trying to integrate data with my data warehouse? And then finally, they're looking for opportunities to how do I how do I just do basic blocking and tackling of this big data? What kind of data quality issues am I starting to deal with? How do I manage this in the context of master data management? Is is there such an animal, you know, within big data and, and master data management? How do I need to rethink that? And specifically around big data, since it is large, right? Um, Volume is one of the one of the three V's around it. Yeah, you know, how do I specifically manage it? How do they define big data? Well, they're defining it in a, in, in a couple of ways. Typically, the way I the way I hear them define it, right, is I've just got lots of data, right. And so after you start digging under the covers around what does lots of data mean, doesn't mean just more sales data. You you start to understand that now they're looking for opportunities um, to manage, for example, their their assets. Uh, how, are the, how are they managing, if you're in a, in a comms environment, how are you managing a, your machine-to-machine -machine language? And I know you and I have talked a lot about this in, in the context of the Vertica solution, that you know, we've, we've created opportunities where um, clients are now asking the question about, I have all of this machine-to-machine -machine data, I need to understand my network performance. Help, help me understand, guys, how we, how we go about doing that. So from a, from a Vertica perspective with what you're seeing, you know, how, how, is the, uh, how, is, how is data being managed and how are you deploying analytics with, with organizations? Well, the biggest differences I see now isn't that analytics and big data is new, it's the tools that are there to manage that. So yeah. before you is either, you've, of course you're always be able to do the BI level, but you also were able to predict and you're also optimized or forecast, but now there are the ability to bring in more data or do it for less expensively or faster, of course, and do it in real time. So one of the business values that I've seen are, are customers that have been doing analytics for years on online applications, but before it would take them two days to do a, an approval of an application, but now it can do it, they can do it in two hours because yeah. they have speed up. What, what kind of business value are your customers seeing? Yeah, so one, one big business value based on what you just said was some of the expectations around how we go about processing uh, big data have changed, right? The, the, the ability to, to get analytics out of a, a technology now, you know, are uh, blindingly fast, right? The tools tools are new. The way we go about visualization, the way we, we go about um, the analysis of that data. Think of the thinking of the data scientists, right? Uh, so, but customers now are also asking about, um, and specifically, uh, void of technology, right? They're they're looking at also uh, use cases, right? Right. So, so help me understand from a use case perspective, how do I Again, going back to our prior prior points, predictive asset maintenance, right? That's that's an entire use case, whether it's oil and gas or comms or finance. Now the question is, help me understand how predictive asset maintenance uh, helps me understand my underlying assets, my network performance, my internal capabilities to move data and uh, provide these analytics within my organization. Help me understand how that how that works and how I can manage that. So okay. Well, I've seen the same things, and you're right. There are a lot of excitement around it's that being able to bring more data to answer that. Before, they couldn't get it into one place. But 
That's what I'm seeing too. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for your time. Always a pleasure. Join the conversation next year as more cities become data-driven, become a community partner. Contact us at info at abctech.ca.